Greetings from Ashirwad and Developmental Pediatrics Department at MOIC Medical College, Collinchery. In the last two occasions, we covered some aspects of parenting of preschool children. They were creating a child-friendly home and offering some insights about different parenting functions of preschool children. I want to turn now to the transition experiences of a preschool child. I shall try to explore five transitions that preschool children from the time that they are infants till school age would go through. Attachment behavior, stranger awareness, social enlargement, fantasy of abilities and school readiness. Attachment behavior is a bonding experience which an infant would have between his or her parents and the child himself or herself. I remember watching a six-month-old infant who was just learning to crawl. The infant would attempt to crawl and would miss being in a balanced position and would turn to the mother. Every time the mother and the father encouraged this infant to move forward, there was greater progress. That progress was made because of the encouragement and the affirmation of the parents. Why is that this infant who was attempting to crawl turning to the parents all the time because they felt the child felt naturally attached to the parents from whom that child received encouragement and acceptance. Attachment process, therefore, is an endearing experience that would take place between an infant and a toddler, a foundational emotional value that we want to see as an experience in all infants. From the time a baby arrives at home after having been born, it is the mother and the father during their co-parenting role who would do all the things necessary for this infant to become familiar with the parents from this transition of the mother's womb to the outer environment at home. Often this attachment process can be interrupted. A mother told me once that for the first three months or so she would offer to feed the baby on her lap and stroke the baby, look at the baby, call her name and this used to create responses of body movements from the baby 
some smile and some engagement by the child also fixing her gaze on the mother's face. But at one time mother thought, why not watch a television program while feeding? And for the next six weeks or so, that is what she did. She realized at the end of that six weeks that this infant was less responsive or regarding her face or giving indications of familiarity. Fortunately, the mother had good sense and returned to the practice of being fully present to the infant. An attachment process can be promoted by parental availability and can be disrupted by the parents physically, emotionally and socially withdrawing from the infant. The second transition that takes place is stranger awareness. It is with the parents that an infant in the first six to nine months would have normal association, involvement and playtime. But by the time a baby is about nine months, the baby is more mobile, would be crawling, would be attempting to sit by herself or himself and would be in the process of trying to stand. This freedom of mobility for this infant would also bring in a new dimension of the child getting in touch with more people at home and outside. It was a fascinating sight to see two children somewhere around a year in the arrival hall in a fascinating play activity. The parents of both these children were sitting on both sides of the arrival hall and first a child moved out of his parents proximity to the floor in the children's corner and soon the other child sitting on the opposite side also moved towards the children's corner. For the next 10 minutes or so, I saw both these children trying to crawl together, chase a moving car, having great fun, going under the chair and finding each other. And in this process, the parents also got involved. And both children during that time got familiar with both sets of parents. There were also others who also joined to engage these children how in the comfort of the presence of their parents they were able to find the security and confidence to relate to others and indicate their social readiness for communication and engagement. The ability to recognize others as being friendly and available and not hostile would be an experience that most infants will go through between 9 months to 18 months. Sometimes during this process they have a face of stranger anxiety, not knowing whom 
he or she is about to meet in a public place or in a traveling bus or in a meeting hall. The child can be clingy towards the mother or the father. We can dismiss the fear and anxiety of this infant by conveying message of encouragement and avoiding too much of exposure to strange people till the child himself or herself is ready to engage. Stranger awareness, stranger anxiety would lead to two experiences. One, the child normally enters into a phase of enlarging his or her contact with other children and other adults and growing to be comfortable. And the other experience is some indications of anxiety by crying, avoiding and wanting parents all the time. It is when you find the latter experience, parents ought to be even more careful to make sure that the child has a transition experience to be comfortable with strangers by taking the child to public places like a children's park or having a neighborhood children's group in their home for this child to get started with play in the comfort of familiar children. Stranger anxiety is not to be afraid of. It is a normal transition, but we would be able to help children to overcome and come to the third transition in their life and that is social enlargement. The philosophy at Anganwadi where most parents would love to go and visit with their children at three years is based on this philosophy that by about two and a half to three years most children are familiar with others by their experience so far to have had wider contacts with people in their neighborhood and by being in public places. Toddlers can predict what might be the normal behavior of adults and children. They look forward to contact with children and adults because they enjoy playing, communicating, doing certain things together, have singing time together, have joined activities of interactive play. This is one of their physiological needs that we must promote for the child to be ready for school. I come to the fourth transition that is fantasy of abilities. I watched a child get into his father's car and occupy the driver's seat. When the father came, he told the father, I will drive the car. The father was amused and he said, yes, you will drive the car maybe later after you learned driving. It took a while before the child would move out of the driver's seat. And this made me realize how a child 
around three years would have many fantasies of his or her abilities. A three-year-old boy was watching an electrician repair a switch. After seeing him do, he took the screwdriver and was attempting to fix the screw. A small indication that children by that age have a sense of exploration, a desire to do a few things, and an engagement with the environment with a confidence sometimes far too much for their age because they still have not reached a level of competency to attempt many things. And yet this fantasy of abilities is something that we can encourage because that gives the child a wider canvas of thinking, exploring the environment, learning from them. Most adults will take that spirit of adventure of a child to explain how things have to be done and participate the children in small activities connected with whatever the parents are doing. This involves instructing a child, giving information to a child and guiding the child towards developing more competencies and capabilities. We must encourage the children to be exploratory in attitude and behavior around this three to four year period in their life when they are getting ready to school. It is important for parents to have many experiences at home whereby from a world of fantasy they will also bring them to realities. A mother was washing the tomato to keep it in the fridge. By involving her daughter in washing and drying the tomato, the mother was giving the child a real experience of learning. I saw another father asking his son to come and help in washing the car, thereby giving the child an experience of becoming familiar with an activity for which he will gradually develop competency over the years. Therefore, fantasy of realities would become an issue of real engagement between the thought processes of a child and helping a child of finding his or her level of competency so that the child feels confident and encouraged. I come to the fifth aspect of transition that is school readiness. A child is going to be away from home for four to six hours when he or she starts a preschool. It can be an emotionally demanding experience on a child. Having been in the safe environment of a home where the child received attention from the primary caregivers, this child now would have to relate to other children and teachers who are not yet familiar with them. But the content of the classroom is what will actually make them feel interested and involved. In preparation to make a child ready for school, it is important for parents to have time in the child's corner at home where 
On some occasions they will have a time of singing, a time of interactive play with the toys, promote make-believe play to enhance their imaginative capacity, a garden walk for the child to have experience of the nature around, getting the child involved in small activities in cooking, introducing scribbling and paper craft to a child, and having a fixed time every day in the child's corner, doing any of these activities or more for the child to experience and enlarging interest in some of the classroom activities that he has to get ready for. It is also important to invite children from the neighborhood once a week or so to participate in this time of play together in the child's corner to give a child a touch of what it might be like in the school environment. There are children who therefore would look forward to going to school. There are some children who have a fearful experience when they get ready to school because this preparation has been inadequate for the child to be school ready. I want to therefore conclude that the five transitions that I referred to in the life of a preschool child, attachment behavior, stranger awareness, social enlargement, fantasy of abilities, and school readiness are true experiences that an infant will go through. We as parents of preschool children ought to consider these five transitions as a continuum and be constantly available with an attitude of openness and readiness to adjust to the needs of the child for the child to make a pleasant experience of every transition. Good wishes for happy parenting to all preschool children. I look forward to receive your comments and questions. Thank you. Till we meet again.